Hey guys, um, Joe Simpson here. I'm going to show you something today that I think everybody should be aware of. Um, there's a lot of talk about what camera to buy, how much to spend on a camera, what lenses to get, and when it comes right down to it, you could actually do YouTube videos and vlogging for a lot less. Hey guys, Joe Simpson here, Tech on the Deck, again. So that intro you just watched is currently uploading via Wi-Fi from a program called LumaFusion. So let me talk about the whole point of this video and what I want to talk about. Yeah, my hands look really big when I do that. I don't know if I like this wide angle for vlogging. Maybe I'll do this. Push back. Yeah, that's better. Okay, here's the deal. Everybody talks about getting the Sony cameras for 2500 bucks, and then you have to get a good lens for $800, and then you have to get a really fast computer that costs $3,000, and then you need this, and then you need that. We get all like mixed up in our thinking, and we get the cart before the horse, so to speak. I think when it comes to um, YouTube videos, it's getting your content up in front of people to watch. A lot of people do it with an iPhone, and it works fine. Uh, if you want to take it to the next step, to the next level, I think you should go with a DSLR or a mirrorless camera with a good microphone on top. You can get two right now at a very good price. You can get the Canon SL2. You can get a kit for about $550 to $600. Bucks, and you can get the uh, G7 by Panasonic, which can shoot 4K. And you can also get a kit there with a kit lens for the same, about $550 to $600. Bucks. You can get the microphone on top, which I like the... Um, Rode Video Mic Go. That's a good one to use. It's simple, it's little, it's petite. And the other thing is, uh, to do video editing now, I just picked up one of those iPads, the new ones, the, the 2018 with the pencil. And it's not for the artwork and the drawing. I do use it for multiple purposes, which is actually a good thing about the iPad, is you can use it for like work if you have to take notes or go to school and take notes. Uh, I actually do quotes and estimates, so I do a lot of drawings and dimensions and things like that. So it comes in handy just for work alone, but then LumaFusion is a program that you can get put onto the iPad, and with this little device, a little card reader, you can read in your files from your Canon camera to your iPad and edit a video right on your iPad and upload it to either Google Drive, Dropbox, directly to YouTube, Vimeo, I mean, you name it, any type of file sharing platform you can put it up to. What I'm basically getting at is you don't have to buy the most expensive stuff to have a really good, clean editing system to do a pro quality job. That intro you just watched, I did it all with the SL2 for 550. I put it on an SD card, SD card reader into the iPad, edited up a little ditty uh, for the front end of this video, and I put it on the internet um, all without touching a computer, a keyboard, nothing. Not a mouse, touchpad, nothing. This pen, that, that camera and that iPad and that's it. So if you're going on vacation and you want to travel light, throw in an iPad. Now an iPad Pro is probably going to be a little better, it's a little faster. This new iPad with the um, same processor that the iPhone 7 has and this Apple Pencil, it just makes editing so easy. Um, it's not as good as Final Cut Pro. You don't have all of the shortcut menus and the shortcut keystrokes and the things that you can do with Final Cut which you learn over time. But if you just want to go somewhere and edit some videos and just do some simple transitions and fades, do some pushes in and some pull outs and some uh, you know, sharpening and small effects and things like that, you can do some pretty intense things on your video if you're willing to spend the time. But if it gets that deep, I like to just shift it over to the computer. But if you don't have that and you said, hey, you know what, I want to do some fishing vids, I want to sit down on Sundays, edit up this video and hit the button and go and then go to bed and then do like a video a week. I mean, this iPad plus the camera combo, it's perfect. You guys should check it out. I really enjoy editing on it. And I think it's a good platform. And I think with a cheap camera, the kit lens, the card, the iPad with the pencil, we're looking at a total of about a thousand bucks and you can do some wonderful videos and do some really nice things with it. So uh, consider it. All right, that's it. I'm out.